Hey everyone and welcome to this video. So on this video I'll cover how actuals are formed in Dynamics 365 Project Service Automation. Alright, so jumping in the system we can see that we have a time entry pending approval. So before we approve this time entry, let's see what our actuals look like for the project that we have. Alright, so as you can see we don't have any actuals created just yet, so that means that we don't have any approved time entries in the system. So this time entry, when I approve this, it'll be the first approved time entry for this project. So clicking on approve and navigating back to actuals and refreshing this page, we can see that we have two actuals created for this project. We have an unbuilt sales and a cost actual. And from the billing status, you can see that the unbuilt sales uh, actual doesn't have a billing status, and the cost actual has a billing status of unbuilt sales created. Now, what this means is that when we, from the project contract or by running batch jobs, create an invoice, this unbuilt sales actual will actually be pulled on that invoice. So let's see what happens when we go uh, and navigate to our project contract and click on create invoice. All right, so we have a draft invoice ready for that one time entry that we've approved. And let's navigate back to actuals. Let's hit refresh. And as you can see, for the unbuilt sales actual, we have a billing status of customer invoice created. So this way we will now know that this actual is actually on a draft invoice. And now coming back to the invoice and confirming it, we can see that the actual actually changes again and we'll, we'll naturally we'll also get some new records. So let's come back to actuals and refresh the list. And now we can see that we have a new actual with transaction type of build sales. And this is created when that invoice is confirmed. And now for the unbilled sales, we have a billing status of customer invoice posted. And we now have a new actual record as well that has a quantity of minus one or, or, or of negative one. And this is a reversal of the original unbuilt sales actual that we had when we, that, that was created when we approved the time entry. So this reversed actual has a billing status of customer invoice posted as well. So when you, in short, when you approve a time entry and then create an invoice and approve that, uh, confirm that invoice, what you'll get is four actuals. You'll get a cost actual, an unbuilt sale, uh, sales actual, a reversal of that unbuilt sales actual, as well as a build sales actual. So four in total. So now coming back to this invoice, let's see what happens when we correct this. So clicking on correct this invoice and navigating back to our actuals, we can see that the build sales actual has an adjustment status of in process. So again, navigating back to that corrected invoice, which has an amount of negative 100 and confirming this corrected invoice we'll see some, some new records again. So now coming back to the, to the actuals, we have a reversed build sales actual that, that has an adjustment status of unadjustable. And the original build sales actual has a value of, of adjusted. Now, what happens when we 
when we confirm a um, when, when we confirm an invoice that that's that's been corrected is we'll get the original unbuilt sales actual back to the system. So it doesn't the, the very original unbuilt sales actual it doesn't just magically disappear. It comes back as an unbuilt sales actual, which we can then invoice again. So as we've confirmed this credit note, navigating back to the project contract, and clicking on create invoice, we can pull that original unbuilt sales actual back on the invoice again. So as you can see, going through approving time entries to correcting an invoice means that we'll get around, let's count these, one, two, three, four, five, six actual records in total from cost to unbuild to their reversal to a build sales and to, to the reverse build sales and again back to the original unbuilt sales actual. So as you can see, we have quite a few actual records in the system just after a simple process like this. So you really, really wanna pay close attention to what the actuals in your system are, what their billing status is, and if they've been adjusted or not. All right, thanks for your time and be sure to check my next video, which covers actuals for fixed price projects. Thanks and have a good one.